So right here is actually like a really like deep, deep, deep cut. If throw it back over to this, concrete mold. Oh, Venom loves thunderstorms. Any koi? See the koi guys? What's up, Raw fam? So I actually just got back from the hospital. Believe it or not, I went to the Florida Keys. I was filming a video for you guys, the Raw fam, and you know, this happened. All right, guys, so I'm out of commission. Uh, there you go. Yep, we, uh, yeah, had a little bit of an oopsie. See you guys on the flip side. 13, got two more on that one. Thank you, bye, I appreciate it. I was a good swimmer. He hopped in the water back in like five seconds, I go. That was quick. <laughs> yeah, because they're gonna they'll flush it out real good and make sure you didn't cut that that main tendon going yep. through there. The tendon, there's a tendon yeah, right there. there. Thank you so much, off. You bet. All right, buddy. Any last go words? Go get some bad guys before we go to the hospital. Um, get them all. Get them all. <laughs> That's all I could say. All right, buddy. Get well. Boom, boom. So of course, I just got back from the hospital. I'm sitting here with my massive, you know, big pool pond. But of course, you know, in the last video we left off playing with the beautiful chameleon. So let's throw it back to that and uh, you know, check out my chameleon. I let him go like right here, okay? So come right here. Oh, I found him, I found him. You guys ready for this? Watch this, you ready? Hi, beautiful. Oh my God. Hi, buddy. I know guys, that chameleon is so flipping beautiful, but believe it or not, you know, the chameleon is actually still right here. So let's uh, see if we can find this little guy. Hey little buddy, hi Venom, where you at? I think Venom should be right here. Oh, oh, I think he's right there. You see him? Oh, Venom loves thunderstorms. You see that little guy? Hi Venom. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Now look at his eye. Look at those beautiful eyes. So believe it or not, Venom will get very, very stressed out and he'll turn like a blackish color. You see that color right there? That's more of like the blackish color, but because it's raining, it's overcast, he feels like he's like on an island almost. But of course, if you guys get a good look under his little neck right there, can you guys see that almost? Maybe? That is his natural colors. Now, Venom obviously has a lot more colors than this. He will actually turn all red right here and he's actually super, super beautiful. But of course, guys, you just saw a whole up close personal tour of what Venom really does look like. Honestly, a couple days ago, it was probably like what, a week or two ago, that's what he was looking at, but I'm gonna put Venom right back where he belongs. Bye, Venom! And believe it or not, Venom is, you know, he has a surprise for us. It's actually right here. This is a bunch of beautiful little tilapia right here. And guys, like I said before, that was like a week ago. So, of course, Baby Jaws and Cash the Bass, or Baby Cash and Baby Jaws, are actually over there, you know, pretty happy and pretty hungry. You guys wanna hear something cool? It, it, does this have like really good audio? I wonder if I threw one from here if you could hear Baby Jaws absolutely clobber it. But I know, guys, obviously Baby Jaws is going to absolutely clobber it, but I don't think I'll do that. I think I wanna get all the eats on camera. So we're gonna make our way, oh, we're gonna make our way. Jeez. Guys, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be back at the hospital redoing my stitches. Oh, like I said, guys, uh, I did go to the hospital. I just got out of the hospital. I have some nasty, nasty, nasty stitches all up in this leg. Um, I don't know, I might have like a like an iPhone cam video for you guys. Um, that's about as all as I could show because it was very messy. All right guys, so obviously guys, I'm in the hospital. As you guys can see, we just got done with surgery right here. I busted this open all right there. I got nine stitches right there. Blood everywhere, but for the most part, it looks Good. Plus all the inside stitches. Yeah, there's a bunch of stitches inside. They wanted to make sure I didn't rupture no this patella tendon or whatever this is right here. But for the most part, we should be fine. Now this doesn't look, uh, don't show over there. That's kind of gory. But for the most part, as you guys can see, we got a bunch of stitches and uh, I think we should be ready to do, uh, feed Jaw some fish. So of course guys, ow, sorry. That actually really hurt. I'm not allowed to bend my knee because if I go to bend my, ow, if I go to bend my knee, where the cut is, it's right, all right, let me just show you guys this. Ah, come right here, come right here. So right here is actually like a really like deep, deep, deep cut. It goes directly up here. So if I go to bend it, it like wants to separate the cut and it's out. Let me come up here. It's really not that good. But of course, guys, I'm gonna make my way over to the pond. 
Ow, ow, ow. Sorry guys, it, it really hurts. Oh, uh, while we're here, I might as well uh, you know, throw back over to this. As you guys can see behind me, if you guys you know, look what that is, believe it or not, it kind of looks similar to what this is. Now, that's actually a concrete mold back here. Actually, let's go look at it. I'm, I'm gonna get over there, right? It's gonna take like two years, but I'll see you guys over there. So as you guys can see, if you guys look right here, this is actually the thick, thick concrete mold that we're actually gonna build our water fountain um, type of mold. That's what these actually are. This is actually a water fountain mold. They're just taking this like sheets of plywood and they're like scoring it in a bunch and they're like making this really weak so then it's like malleable and they could like make a big circle out of just regular sheets of plywood. But of course, Raw fam, my fishies are in full hungry mode, guys. As you guys can see, it's raining, aka that means the barometer is changing. We gotta feed these guys before we get rained out here at the Raw fam, but ow, ow. All right, deal, we gotta hurry, buddy. Uh-oh, uh you guys see that right there? That is uh, exactly what you don't wanna see here in uh, South Florida. That means it's about a freaking thunder and lightning, but we're gonna come right here. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Hi, babies. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? So we don't need these things. Oh, I, I still think I, I'm so used to throwing stuff. Okay. I'm gonna come right here. What's up, babies? How you guys doing? Oh, okay, my first big step. And uh, as long as I can climb up that step, I'm, uh, I'm good enough to you know, feed my fishies. So as you guys can see, baby jaws, where are you? So we got jaws right there, and this is baby, baby cash. You ready for this, Dill? Here we go, yeah. here we go. Oh, come on, you good? Oh! <laughs> guys, right where we left off, they're already going crazy, so. Of course, we got some more food right here. I'm gonna show you guys this. That is just regular strip tilapia. Who wants to eat? Come on, give the camera a pretty jump. Oh my gosh. Oh, is the, is the arowana excited? I've never really seen the arowana excited. Oh, oh, the arowana is excited. Oh, he almost ate, he almost ate. Guys, that is an amazing sign over here at the Raw Fem because he wasn't eating for like the first like almost week that he's been here, but, oh, that's plastic. Hold on, let me get the plastic out. Sorry, but let's see if this arowana will want to eat. Come here. Oh, <laughs> Look, I still gotta remember that there's large mouth in there. All right, come here, arowana. Oh, he ate, he, did, he, did he get it? Oh, the bass got it. Oh, he's going up to him like, yo, what's good, bro? <laughs> come here, come on, come on. No, this is like the arowana's. This is the arowana's uh, food. I love it, I love that he's like eating. Sorry guys, no attention to the largemouth here. Oh, no, dang it, come here. Here you go, Koi, here you go, buddy. <laughs> okay, here we go, where's the arowana? Arowana, come over here, buddy. I honestly, guys, I did not think the arowana was gonna make it because he wasn't showing any signs of like aggression. He wasn't getting excited for eating like all these other animals are, but I came back and it's like a new fish. You ready? Come on. Oh, the freaking bass, guys. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna show this bass a lesson. You ready for this? Oh, I tried to grab him. My bad, I got a little scared. All right, ready? Let's see if I can get a nice little thin piece for the arowana. Oh, the red tail. Aha, gotcha. Aha, come here, Mr. Red. Oh, the queen, <laughs> guys, it's like a battle. It's like literally like a battle, so. Wait, all right, throw him off our trail. Tra throw him off, oh, come on. Oh, that is beautiful. He just hand fed, guys. That is freaking epic, guys. So, of course, that arowana, I think if he keeps doing that, he'll be in good hands. So, uh, as long as he's eating, I'm happy. So, let's see if we could feed the largemouth. Come here, baby. Oh, he said that's uh, definitely not what he wants. Come on, Cash. Oh, there goes Cash. Cash ate. Now we got Jaws right there. Hi, Jaws. Come on. Oh, the koi? Any koi? See the koi, guys? Oh, <laughs> the koi just sucked that thing up. Oh, red tail, red tail. Oh, yes. Red tail. Red tail time. Tail time. You ready for this? Oh, no. Oh, there you go. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was so close. Come on, buddy. 
Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome, guys. So, like, honestly, guys, I'm super excited that these guys are eating. Now, what I think I'm going to just do, I think I'm just going to, you know, throw all this food in there. Oh. You're not so little, buddy. He's, he's not a little. He's not even close being little. He's like, all right, so the cool thing is, is that red tail right there, he used to be little. I bought him when he was, like, that big, and uh, he's absolutely beautiful. But what we're going to do is take some of this. It's the good stuff. Throw it in the middle for a little bit of fish friendly. Feed him frenzy right there. All out there. Everybody go crazy. And honestly, bro, that was so much fun. So as you guys can see, we don't need that anymore. We gotta go get that chameleon off of there. So guys, I'm gonna honestly just try and see if I can. Ah! Woo! <laughs> okay guys, as long as I did that step, we're good to go. Guys, it honestly is raining, so I think we're gonna be wrapping up this video soon, but as long as we get under that overhang, I can't get these stitches wet. I think we should be good. So, you wanna help me out? Grab those for me. Thank you, buddy. No problem. I think we're gonna have to grab that chameleon. I don't wanna leave him out here in the rain. Even though he'd probably love it. I don't think so. Oh, oh I keep bending my knee, bud. You're gonna have to go in there and get it for me. Oh. Watch out, bro, there's a little oh. turtle. Oh. You didn't see that one, huh? Oh. Pretty close, huh? There oh, he is. there he is. There he is. Bro, he's way over there. All right, buddy. So bring him on camera over here. I gotta get out of this rain, bud. My doctor said it's not good. Let's go. This is literally the only thing my doctor said not to do. Don't go outside when it's raining. I said okay. He said if you want, you can go play with lions, go play with tigers, you know, giraffes, emus, big G over at Blake Sodic Animal Ranch. He said I can do all that stuff. Just don't be out in the rain. And uh, I said uh, yeet. Obviously, I said no. Ah. All right, so. Let's get out of here. Hopefully it stops raining and I could uh, show you guys my little turtles.